What's up everybody, welcome back to Bonds Box. Today we're unboxing the Redfall uh, Bite Back Edition, which is essentially a bundle with the game and the Bite Back upgrade. Uh, this was available, I don't know if it was exclusive, I don't remember seeing if it was or not, but uh, I bought mine from game. Um, they had the bundle available for the $99.98, or you could buy the game for $70, or the, uh, and the thing on its own for $30, uh, $29.99. Um, so yeah, you can buy just this on its own, you know, so if you wanted to, you know, just play it with Game Pass and have the collector stuff as well, you can, or digitally, or whatever. Um, so this doesn't include the game in any capacity, but it's just all the extra stuff. This is obviously the game. Um, so I was just flipping these around before we started uh, recording here, and I noticed here on the back it's the same on both of them. So you'll see... Down here it says 60 frames per second, but then so that's like hard printed onto the actual casing. But then these white stickers here are stuck over the top of the uh, uh, the shrink wrap, the you know the plastic packaging. 60 FPS performance mode not available at launch. So that says to me the 60 FPS mode was cut really late um, from the game. Like the the cases and everything had already been printed and wrapped up, and they were like, "Oh crap, <laughs> we're gonna cut that. Stick a sticker on it real quick." Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that's just what that screams to me. Um, but yeah, so I think are these the same? No. Okay, so we'll, we'll check out this case first. Explore a handcrafted open world. Face off against a legion of vampires, uncover the truth, take back Redfall, stay alone or squad up. Uh, the island town of Redfall, Massachusetts is under siege by vampires who have blocked out the sun <clears throat> and cut the civilians off from the outside world. Venture out on your own or team up with friends to take on the creatures threatening to bleed the town dry. Redfall is an open world FPS from Arkane Austin, the award winning team behind Prey and Dishonored. <clears throat> so, uh, that is, that's the standard edition game, if you were to buy that on its own. Um, this is the upgrade pack, so it includes the throwback outfit pack. It includes, uh, oh, I guess these are the outfits. Sorry, all the different languages are throwing me off here. Uh, we've got the Remy outfit, Engineer Volunteer, the Davinda outfit, which is the Northern Expedition, uh, War Clothes for Layla, and Eyes in the Dark for Jacob. Um, laser beam, multi weapon skin, <clears throat> multi weapon skin six. Oh no, multi weapon skin and sorry, tactical knife, stake weapon attachment. Uh, that's the rest of the languages. So I'm really bad at trying to decipher what is my language and what isn't. So, um, we've got looks like English, Italian, and Spanish on here. Based on these flags, uh, and then the Red Four Hero Pass, which includes two future heroes, which could be interesting, uh, maybe. So we're just going to unwrap the standard one real quick. I did play this for a few hours on Game Pass the other day in four-player co-op, and um, <sighs> I don't like to be negative on my channel, but it wasn't great. I, I can't recommend you pay to play it. If you have Game Pass already, then check it out. Sure, why not? Um, but it it feels like an early access game. Like there's a lot of ideas going on that don't feel like they're really fleshed out. They don't feel like they're I don't know fully formed just yet. Um, few weird little bugs. It felt like I was playing an early access game, so. Hey, the ad for their other big game of the year. Hopefully uh, this one launches a bit better. Ad for Deathloop. Controls. That's pretty cool. Most games don't even give you that courtesy anymore of giving you the controls on a piece of paper anymore, so it's nice to have some form of a manual, even if it is a single piece of paper cut in half. So the inside here is pretty cool looking. 
we got like this kind of concept art of this lighthouse with the blocked out sun something into the boat down here oh that looks like where a vampire was maybe staked it's like burnt out you got the town and stuff <coughs> And then the disc. It is really cool looking in my opinion. This swirling kind of fire effect on it. So that's cool. Um, let's get into the... I mean, upgrade here. So there's a cardboard sleeve with the steelbook inside. My steelbook is dented, amazing. Um, it's a very plain steelbook. Mine's, as you can see, got a nice dent that's compromised the spine. Got that cool kind of fangs on the front here. It's very plain, but it is quite cool. It does have the title on the spine the correct way up, so props for that. And then a picture of the four heroes on the back here. <clears throat> Inside, we've got my code for the... Uh, I guess that's all the digital stuff that we saw on the back there. Oh, we've got the same manual, but three languages, so it's a bit thicker. And then we've got this patch, which, uh, you yeah. know, if I can get into it, I'll show you properly. There we go. Red and black is a really, I really like that color combo, so visually it's quite aesthetically pleasing to me. <laughs> but it is ultimately pretty simplistic. Town of Red for calm seas and sunny skies. We've got the lighthouse. So yeah, I mean, it's not the worst steelbook in the world. It's pretty hard to take that crown away from like tower of guns and stuff. I really wish mine wasn't dented. Um, might do a giveaway for this. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that is the Redfall Bite Back Edition. We'll put all this stuff in its cases. Let me know in the comments if you've played this game, if you're enjoying it. If you're not, um, I definitely want to go check it out solo and see if you know maybe it plays a little different then. But uh, my initial impressions of it not great. But um, <clears throat> if you're enjoying it, then that's awesome. I hope you uh, hope you really. I hope everybody who has played it is enjoying it. But I feel like maybe that. Might not be a huge crowd. Anyway, um, if you are enjoying it, that's fantastic. Uh, so keep having fun. Um, let me know in the comments what you like about it. Maybe I've missed something. Um, and yeah, if you're not enjoying it and you've played it on Game Pass, uninstall it. That is the one beauty of Game Pass. If you already have it, you haven't really lost out anything other than your time, which I mean, that's not anything to be sniffed at, but. It's better than losing 70 pounds, right? <laughs> as well as your time. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I'm not going to ramble too much, hopefully. But if you want to see me play video games, you can check me out on Twitch. If you did like the video here, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more content. Uh, we should have some Zelda unboxings coming out soon when the game comes out. Um, and I hope you're having a great day with whatever it is you're playing. And I will see you next time.